All right, so an update on the SEC. It's been uh, months, months, months. Feels like half a year since I did a video on it. Um, new place, been working on it. Uh, moved out from Michigan to New York, so I've been uh, you know, dragged this on a trailer, winched it up, winched it down, used a tractor to pull it up and down, uh, to pull it off the trailer. And quick update. So engine runs, fires. You know, a quick spoiler alert, I guess. It, engine runs and fires, the one that I rebuilt. Uh, right now, it's not building oil pressure, though. So this is, I'm using the same oil pump that uh, that was in this engine in the junkyard. So as you remember from that video, um, it did have oil pressure. I know that oil, oil pump worked. We saw oil come up onto the, uh, the rockers there. But right now, it's not pulling. So I don't know what's going on just yet. But uh, nice 12-foot ceilings, all insulated shop. Uh, you know, I still got to get my compressor hooked up and whatever. So obviously power ran to the hoist. Uh, got my frame hoist here as well. Yeah, this is, uh, it's all together. Let me pop the hood and show you what that looks like. You know, I haven't even gotten to touch the window yet or anything. Whoa. Oh, shoot. There it is. Got to fix the e-brake on it. The yeah, engine's all together. Looks nice. I unhooked this uh, for, for cranking purposes. Check for oil pressure. Yeah, again, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. We'll figure it out, though. Uh... I don't think it's a lack of prime issue because I can overfill it. I could fill it through the oil filter. Um, the one thing I haven't tried, I haven't tried packing it with Vaseline. Uh, but frankly, I had uh, I had so much oil in here that that oil level was high enough that even um, you know it it would have sucked it up because it's right at the the level oil, the oil level is right at where the gears are, so it should be sucking it in. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a little GoPro in there or something and, and see. Maybe the uh, the gear is spinning, but the pump's not spinning. I don't know. Maybe I'll just buy a new oil pump and, and figure it out. Not a big deal, you know. They're, they're not too expensive. Um, but yeah, it's it's all together. Now I got this pan goobered up because I had it on and off a hundred times. Uh, funny enough, I was actually I was working on this thing. I had no oil pan on it. You know, I was, I was messing with the oil pressure uh, about a week before. We had to move out not even i think whatever anyway maybe five days before we actually started taking out the first load from our old house so it's been uh it was hectic i was just so determined to try to get this thing running like i said it did fire for a second but since i saw there was no oil pressure i shut it down right away um and and i've been scratching my head since so you know gotta get the the essentials going so i can work on this nice high up um and i got my fox body here so i got all my projects one space now and you know probably be another couple of months to be honest just, just busy with the house and everything to uh to get this ready to go but it's it's almost there once it's running then we can you know go through all the suspension and everything uh the rear suspension is gonna pump up because right now you know you gotta get the the pump for the hydraulic rear um absorbers which are also weight carrying to get the rear up we can go get it all certified, you know, it was a rebuilt title or uh, it's a salvage title. Sorry. So I'm going to get it as a rebuilt title, um, maybe painted and uh, drive it for a bit and maybe sell it. So thanks for tuning in. Here's a little update for you. And, you know, I'll be back on working on this project to get it running. Thanks.